On the left is a lower lid, and the white round thing is a purple. So it's a nine mm, okay, looking yeah, into you. the sky. It was designed by the architect from Finland. This is our opera and ballet theater. Today they have a very popular ballet. All tickets are sold out. It's called the Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, it's very popular. And now on your right, you can see some black squirrels here. So, and uh, look at the fence here. It's a uh, unique and quite historical piece of art. It's 175 years old. Oh. On, on Saturday, you can see many people taking photographs here on the day of the wedding in this beautiful park. And the building was constructed for the lawyers. On your left here, you see that red brick building over there? This is the oldest house in Toronto. It dates from 1822. It's nothing for you guys. <laughs> But for us, it's very old. Toronto was founded in 1793. So it's quite young city for, even for Canadian standards. So we have two very old cities in Canada and one of them is called St. John's. It was founded in 1493. And Quebec City, which is 403 years old this year. So here we're driving um, along the widest street in Toronto. There are four lanes for traffic. In New York, you saw all streets like this, right? And the park in the middle. Usually our streets are very long, but quite narrow. Only two lanes or three maximum. So that's probably why you had some problems in the city. Did you? No? No, with Louis, you cannot have any problems. He is number one. So, and now we approach the interesting part of University Avenue where we have five hospitals. Medical insurance in Canada is free for everybody. And it covers most of the medical services, including hospitalization. Have you heard about any medication, anything connected with medicine, which was discovered, founded in Canada? No? no? Nobody? Never? Nothing. Insulin. Yes. Yeah. By Canadian doctors bending and bust in 1921, and the first injections were made at Toronto General Hospital, which is on your right hand side. Now. Yeah. So there is Children's Hospital on your right, on the left hand side, Toronto Rehab, then the Mount Sinai, and Princess Margaret Hospital, which is very famous in North America. It's one of the best and uh, the most advanced centers for uh, research, researches in cancer treatment. Yes, very, very good. So our medicine is perfect. It's really good and uh, free. Only dental care and vision care is not covered <laughs> by the general medical insurance, but many people work for big companies so they can also get the benefits and then these um, this services are covered too. Okay, so I know that, um, okay, another question. Is it first time for everybody in Canada? Yes. yes. Okay. So that's a perfect choice. Niagara Falls and Toronto, two most important and most famous places in Canada. So Toronto is the largest city in Canada. The population of Toronto is more than 5 million people. For Canada, it is crazy. It is so many, so many people. Because in Canada, the whole country, only 34 million people. 34 million. Just for you to compare. The country you came from, I mean, where you had your tours, the United States of America occupies the area of 9 million square kilometers and 309 million people in the United States. Delete, delete your in Canada, the area is 10 million square kilometers. So it's bigger and only 34 million people live here. So here we came to the parliament. The parliament and Queen's Park and it's all for the province, not for Canada. For province where you are now and it's called Ontario. Yeah, this is the name of the lake and the name of the province. On the right hand side there, you can see the monument to Queen Victoria, who is very important for Canada. During her reign, Canada got its independence from Great Britain in 1867. I had a question last time from the group of Vacation Exotica. This, 
Why did they give you independence so early and didn't give it to us? <laughs> because they want, we are too far. They wanted to get rid of us. <laughs> okay, so the building is very beautiful. It uh, was designed by the British architect. It looks very British. And the stone, look at the stone. It's not painted. It's original pink sandstone from northwest of Toronto. Would you like to get off for the photographs? Yeah, five and a half minutes? Yeah? Okay.